nations. You see that? To him will I give power over the nations. Remember, he said how that uh, uh, for in the division of the nations of the whole earth, he set a ruler over every people. But Israel is the Lord's portion. Israel is the one that's going to have power over the nations. All right. Just like Esau Edom, the self-proclaimed -pro uh, uh, white man. All right. He has power over all other nations now. All right. Oh, you, you fine with that. All right. You cool with, with, with another nation having power. All right. They, they're the superpower right now. All right. But people cool with that. Oh, it's a problem when we're talking about the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans being in power, being the superpower, all right? And we're going to be known as the Israelites, the Hebrew Israelites, the chosen children of the Most High God. Oh, now it's a problem. Now it's a problem. Too bad. So sad. I'm reading the Bible. This is what's going to happen, all right? And so... uh uh, in the Lord, <laughs> this is a red, in red, our Lord said, and he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end. So you got to come o uh, co overcome this world and wanting to be a part of this world and have a portion uh, of, you know, the money, cars, clothes, holes, success, fortune, fame. Nah, we, we, I overcome that. All right. And keep my works unto the end. To him will I give power over the nations and he shall rule them. Rule who? Over the nations. Because we're going to be the superpower. All right? And guess what? We're going to rule with the ways of wisdom. All right? Uh, and he shall rule them with the rod of iron. As the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers, even as I received of my father. All right? What's wrong with that? I'm reading the Bible. All right? And those that keep his works, those are the ones that he said, hey, if you suffer with me now... In this present evil world, we shall be glorified together. All right. And we're going to reign on the earth. All right. That's what the Bible say. I'm reading it. This is uh, the book of Psalms. This is the book of Psalms, chapter two. The book of Psalms, chapter two, in, uh, in verse one, I'm going to jump around. It says, why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? See, they think that they're going to be the next superpower. You got uh, China, Russia, Iran, you know. They think they're going to be the next superpower. All right? But that, that's uh, why I do the heathen rage and, and the people imagine a vain thing. The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed, saying, let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords from us. <laughs> Verse four, he that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh. <laughs> they doing all that vying for the next top spot when the Lord already got who he, he going to have for the next top spot and forever. All right. It says the Lord shall have them in derision. All right. Then shall he speak unto them in his wrath and vex them in his sore displeasure. Yet I have set my king upon my holy hill. I will declare the decree. The Lord hath said it unto me, thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. We're talking about our Lord and Savior, Yahweh all right? It says it, it, the Lord, the Father already set up who was going to rule. It's going to be Yahweh all right? It's going to be Yahweh and those that's under Yahweh that's going to be joint heirs with Yahweh as it says in Romans 8 and 17. It says, uh, ask of me. Ask of me and I shall give thee the heathen, these heathen nations for thine inheritance and the uttermost part of the earth for thy possession. This is what you're going to have, you Israelites. All right. Starting off with our Lord and Savior, of course. All right. It says thou shalt break them with a rod of iron. This is how we're going to rule. All right. We're going to rule and make sure that a hey, life is going to be prevalent, all right? Righteousness is going to be prevalent. Y'all can't serve them gods no more that y'all just made up with your mind, all right? Y'all can't have those things that y'all do that produce death no more, all right? No, you can't serve that and you can't have your own way. No, you got to roll with the way of life. You got to roll with the way of righteousness, all right? And we're going to rule you with the rod of iron to do so. No more death, 
is, is going to be prevalent. All right. The, the ways of death, should I say, is not going to be prevalent. OK. That's why verse 10, it says, be wise now, therefore, O ye kings talking to you Israelites, be wise right now. Be instructed, ye judges of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. Kiss the son, lest he be angry, and ye perish from the way when his wrath is kindled but a little. Blessed are all they that put their trust in him. So make your body a living sacrifice now. All right? Be instructed, all right, with the ways of righteousness, the ways of wisdom. Renounce corruption right now because we got something. He said he go to prepare a place for us. I have not seen, ear have not heard, and it haven't entered into the heart of man what the Lord got waiting on us, man. For those who love him, trust in him. All right, walk the walk now. Rehearse the righteous acts now. Renounce this present evil world now. Renounce this flesh now. All right, because this is what he got waiting on us. All right, the Bible say so. Anything else didn't happen. All right, this gonna happen too. All right, that's why he said, "Man, ye uh, uh, be wise now, therefore, O ye kings, man, talking to you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all oh, you you'd want to be peasants and trying to chase a bag. Y'all out your mind, man." Second uh, Edris chapter four. Um, no, Wisdom of Solomon 6 and 24. This is Wisdom of Solomon chapter 6. This has been one of my favorite scriptures, I mean, uh, chapters. All right, uh, Wisdom of Solomon 6 and 24. But in the multitude of the wise is the welfare of the world. See, it says, uh, be, be, um, be wise now, therefore, O ye kings. Be instructed, ye judges of the earth. All right, we, that's us, us Israelites. Okay, a wisdom of Solomon 6 and 24. But in the multitude of the wise is the welfare of the world. All right. But in the, and that's the, those that's profitable. He said he's going to set in due time, set over the earth one that's profitable. Th these are the, the multitude of the wise. That's going to be the welfare of the world. It says and a wise king is the upholding of the people. We're those kings that's going to uphold the people. All right. It says, receive, therefore, instruction through my words, and it shall do you good. All right? That's the place that we're going to go to, the place that it, it's going to be good. All right? It's going to be good. All right? But the place that's bad, this present evil world, has to be judged by way of fire first. All right? That's why it says, uh, um, second address 4 and uh, uh, 26, then answered he me and said, the more thou searchest, the more thou shall marvel for the world hasteth fast to pass away. This present evil world where those that's unprofitable are ruling over it. This one hasteth fast to pass away because those that's unprofitable for it is ruling over it. All right. And then the people are the same way and cannot comprehend the things that are promised to the righteous in the time to come. That's the Israelites. That's the ones that's profitable. All right. For this world, this present evil world is full of unrighteousness and infirmities. But as concerning the things that whereof thou askest me, I will tell thee. For the evil is sown, but the destruction thereof is not yet come. If therefore that which is sown be not turned upside down, and if the place where the evil is sown pass not away, then cannot it come that is sown with good. All right. Then cannot come that that place that is uh, uh, as it uh, uh, in earth as it is in heaven. All right, that's the good. That's the new heaven and the new earth that's going to be ruled with wisdom by the righteous people. All right, that's going to be profitable for the earth. Okay, all right. But first, this place has to be destroyed before that place come. All right, and our Lord and Savior is coming to do it. He's coming to put a judgment by way of fire on this place. And guess what? When he do, this is Revelation 20 and um, 14. Go straight to the point. It says, and death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. All right. This is the second death. When our Lord and Savior comes with that destruction for the place where the evil was sown. All right. 
And what did the evil produce? Death and hell. All right. And it says right here, Revelation 12, I mean, I'm sorry, 20 and 14. And death and hell, all right, and this whole vibration of this present evil world, all right, is going to be, it says, cast into the lake of fire, all right? This place called America, all right, is going to be that lake of fire. This place right here called America was death and hell. This place right here, America, the worst kingdom of all kingdoms of all kingdoms, all right? The most wicked, all right? This is the place right here, America, death, hell, all right? Be engulfed in the lake of fire. Those that uh, uh, ruled over this place with death, the ways of death, the ways of hell, all right? This place is going to be in the wrath of the Lord, that fire. That's what he's coming back with. All right. And those that love this place that was joined to this place going to get caught up in that fire. All right. Going to get caught up in that fire. All right. This is the book of uh, John. St. John. Seven. And seven. It says the world cannot hate you. This is in red. Our Lord and Savior speaking. The world cannot hate you, but me it hated. Because I testify of it that the works thereof are evil. And he's coming back to put uh, 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 the fire on uh, uh, this, this place. All right. But it says the world cannot hate you. So now here it is. We come in the same spirit. All right. And we're testifying uh, uh, of this truth. And we're uh, uh, ushering in the second coming of our Lord and Savior. All right. We're ushering in the kingdom of heaven. We're ushering in we're, and we're talking about the destruction of this place. But people love this place. People love death. All right. People love hell. All right. And so they come against us because we're coming against this place. All right. Just with words right now. All right. But our Lord and Savior is coming with that action. OK. That's what our Lord and Savior is coming back with. See, all we do is we speak the words. OK. See, but people are going to hate us because of those words that we're speaking. All right. This is uh, Proverbs 8 and um, Proverbs chapter 8, verse 36. And it says, uh, but he that sinneth against me wrongeth his own soul. All that hate me love death. All right. All that hate Yahweh love death. All right. Um, my last scripture, this is Romans eight. The book of Romans eight and 19, it says for the earnest expectation of the creature waited for the manifestation of the sons of God. All right. And we so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans, it will be manifested that we are the sons of God. It will be manifest to all. It's already manifest. All right. But some people act like they don't recognize it. All right. But it's going to be recognized by all, by every creature. All right. Man, woman and child, uh, plant, tree, animal. Everybody is going to know who are the sons of God. All right. It says, for the creature was made subject to vanity, not willingly, but by reason of him who have subjected the same in hope. Because the creature itself also shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption unto the glorious liberty of the children of God. All right. Because the children of God, we also was in this flesh and in this corruption. We had to experience it. But that's why right now the elect is renouncing this flesh, renouncing this present evil world, returning back to Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah, rehearsing the righteous acts, having that mindset and speak in the kingdom of heaven, speak in life, all right? Even though people want to hurt, harm, and uh, kill us and lie on us and all these things because they love death, all right? They love this present evil world, which is that death, what you love, all right? What you about, okay? Um, I'm going to end it there. Lord willing, I was edifying. With that, I'm going to give all praises, all honor, all glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechach Shalom, and a Bible ball.